Hey there, how's it going? This is Cross the Rubicon channel. How did transgender activists and these tiny minority, a very tiny, probably less than 1%, get so much power in the Western world? How come our politicians, including conservatives, succumb to these transgender activists, these LGBTQ dot 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 with the P on the end. Now you know what the P's for. In the end, you know what's coming down the road. How did these people come so powerful? And how did they get such a grip on our universities, our media, our politicians? How did they manage that? There's a sickness in our society in Western society, Western democracies. And just one of the sicknesses is this, what I'm talking about now, where children, young children, very young, I've got two grandsons, another one on the way. And I tell you what, I'm not gonna be happy when they go to school and this is taught to them in school because I'm gonna be at that school, hopefully with their mum, my daughter, my daughters, and I'm going to make an issue of when they're telling my grandsons that just because they've got a penis doesn't mean they're a boy and they can change their gender whenever they want. I take issue, I take issue with that. And if they show them books where boy on boy is having sex or girl on girl is having sex and they're showing my four or five year old grandson this and I'm going to take issue with that and hopefully my daughters will too and hopefully you will too and hopefully you go to school with your daughters and your sons and take issue with him but you know the media is against you the media is pro them how sick have we become how weak have we become as a society? Now, politicians, even including conservative politicians, and the media, and academia, would say, this makes us stronger. Does it really? Do you think China, and Russia, and all our enemies, the enemies of the West, do you think it makes them stronger? Do you think they're not sitting in a very high place, looking down on the West and laughing how weak we're becoming. Because we are, we are weakening our young people. Turn our young boys into girls and our young girls into boys. Fucking with their heads. That's what this is doing. It's sending them cuckoo. And our academics, even People with PhDs agree with this. Oh, it's so, it's so great, isn't it? And then we live in a great society. Because little boys don't know what the fuck they are. And little girls want to be little boys. Oh, little, little Daisy is playing with an action man. I've got a good idea. Let's put her on hormone treatment. And little Billy is playing with a Cindy doll. He must be gay. He must be a girl. We'll put him on hormone treatment as well. I'll tell you what, we won't even tell the parents. This kind of stuff is happening in the world. And you complain about it. Then you're against transgenders. You're against these ultra minorities. And these people don't want to debate with you. They don't want to have dialogue. When you say you're against it, like I'm saying I'm against it now because I don't really give a shit what I say. I am against it, definitely against it. But they come after you and they want to destroy you. Not only that, the media come after you, the government come after you. Academics or so-called academics come after you and want to destroy your life. 
because you say, well, I think if you're born with a penis, you're a boy. And if you're born with a vagina, or you're lacking a penis, then you're probably a girl. No, no, no probably about it. If you've got a vagina, you're a girl. There's only two genders. Two. Two. Male and female. I don't know about chromosomes and all that. I'm just a simple man. Male and female, that's all it is. And if you think there's 30 or 64 genders, then you're a bit of a prick, aren't you? I really wouldn't want to mix it with you. I really wouldn't want to have a beer with you. Because I think you're cuckoo. Now, people call me all sorts. I care less. Because I think what I'm saying here represents a lot of people. Because a lot of people are afraid to say it. But like I said, when my grandsons go to school and some teacher or headmaster, principal, I think you call them in New Zealand, tries to tell my little grandson that he can be a girl, he can choose his own gender when he's five years old, I'll be around that school. And so should you be. But this is being driven, even by conservative governments, who won't stand up to it. As a teacher, I watched on GB News, I think it was, was it yesterday or today? A teacher, maths, I think he was a maths teacher, been sacked from his job for not using the right pronouns for students. Sounded like the students set him up. They let him walk into a trap so they can get him sacked. Because basically, he believes in the same things as what I believe. A boy is a boy and a girl is a girl. Easy. So easy. It doesn't fuck with the heads, does it? Pardon my French, but... There you go. I dare say someone will slag me off for this video. I care less. This is Cross the Rubicon. Please like, leave a comment, subscribe, and share my videos everywhere. And don't forget, this is coming to a school near you. If it's not there already, been and gone. I hope you go to that school and protest whoever's teaching this, because I think the next step is going to be letting paedophiles adopt children. That'll be the next thing. Why can't paedophiles adopt children? And if you're against that, you're well, paedophilophobic, whatever. Okay, see you later.